Welcome to another edition of The Power of Better. I'm your host, Elbert Walters III, Executive Director of Powering Chicago. We're coming to you today from the Countryside Illinois Municipal Building, the first net zero municipal building in the state and one of the first in the country. That means that this building will produce as much energy as it uses annually. This ambitious project was completed with the help of a Powering Chicago contractor. And for those institutions with similar ambitions, we've identified two organizations dedicated to educating and training municipalities on the necessary steps. The construction of the 35,000 square foot countryside municipal complex was completed along Route 66 in 2019 as a LEED certified net zero building. With more than 600 solar panels capable of producing 275 megawatt hours per year, it gives back excess power to the energy provider during peak production. Jerry Kostick and his team from High Power Electric led this innovative project with assistance from other Powering Chicago contractors. The biggest thing is on the electric is the consumption. They were trying to make sure that it hit on their model targets. All the sensors in the room set properly so they shut off and turn on when they're supposed to. They also have receptacles are switched as well along with the lights so at night any leaching loads are uh, shut off. These are all things we had to make sure that we were spot on. Aside from some of the eye-catching features like the solar carport, the green roof, and EV charging stations, upon entry to this sustainable marvel, it's hard to miss the low emissivity glass on the windows that are 84% more eco-friendly than most common windows. Walk through the front door and the interactive display shows exactly how much energy is used at any one time. While this is a dramatic display of sustainability, many municipalities just want to know how and where to start their energy transformation journey. Matt Stolzbart is a business representative for IBEW Local 134, whose primary function is to educate local governments on codes and standards for emerging technologies like solar and EV readiness. We sympathize and understand the burden of code adoption, and we want them to understand that we're here to help them through the process, help them understand and educate themselves on, on what they feel is the most current code they want to adopt. Fortunately, the municipalities have an ally to help achieve that goal, Edith Macra of the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus. The EV readiness program provides a pathway for municipalities to become EV ready and it's everything from code adoption to permitting to safety training and to electrifying fleets. The village of Skokie is one local government taking sustainability seriously with 1,000 electric vehicles already registered to the residents there. They have a simple online permitting process for those wanting to have the safest, most accessible, and efficient experience possible. It's very important. Our EV owners typically are focused on the convenience and the benefits of the technology. It's our job to make sure that that technology, those charging stations are installed correctly uh, with the permitting and inspection process. Doing it right and doing it safely requires training. And that's where IBEW Local 134's Executive Director of Renewable Energy, Robert Hattier, takes the lead. Main thing is, we have to keep in mind, these are electrical systems. They are both going to interact with an existing electrical infrastructure. So we need to make sure that that is of the appropriate capacity and that that is up to code or the, the current addition too. Most municipalities simply may want to achieve EV readiness, but the standard set by Countryside in its net zero building is one that many local governments would like to emulate. For Jerry Kostick, this revolutionary project could only be completed with a highly skilled IBEW Local 134 workforce. We need to move along with the industry demands of us as contractors and as of electricians. That's it for another episode of The Power of Better. We'd like to extend our sincere thanks to everyone at the City of Countryside, the Village of Skokie, High Power Electric, the Metropolitan Mayor's Caucus, and IBEW Local 134 Codes and Standards Committee for their invaluable partnership and contributions to this project. I'm Elbert Walters III. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.